In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take this succulent plant pack and make these adorable Valentine's Day gifts. These cute little succulent potted plants are perfect for almost anyone. You can give them to your friend, you can put them on your coworker's desk, and they would be perfect for mom. For the materials and supplies for this project, I'm starting with the succulent plant kit. Now I'm only going to use a few out of this pack, so you can actually make quite a few projects from this little kit. And with that, I'll be using my curling tool. I then have this little paper pot, this paper mache pot. Now you can use any sort of pot that you want. I love this one because I can paint it any color I want, and I am choosing this burgundy and mauve theme Inside the pot, I've put some little pebbles just to give it some weight, and then I have a three inch foam ball to give some height that I'll be gluing all of my succulents onto. Once I've painted the pot, I may go ahead and spray it with a clear finish. That's up to you depending on your paint. And then of course I have my hot glue gun to assemble everything. To finish off this succulent project and make it look a little bit more Valentine's Day, I'm gonna add some little punches on the top and I'll be using this heart punch as well as this ruffled circle just to add some depth. And I'll be using the berry pack, two different colors of mauves and purples, and we'll be attaching those onto these bamboo skewers that will just be placed right into the foam. The first thing that you want to do is to paint your pots, and I put a couple coats on them. I wanna do just one more coat. I'm just using a simple foam brush. You can use any type of brush that you want to. I find it's easy just to put the paint right onto the pot and then just spread it around. I'm gonna set these aside to dry and go wash out my brushes, so let's make the succulents. Click the link for the full video tutorial of all of the succulents in this pack. I have some different succulents here in front of me that I want to arrange in these pots. And the pots, I put a little bit of pebbles in the bottom just to give it some weight and also to raise up the bottom so that the foam ball will stick out just a little bit. And the foam ball still has some room. It does roll around and that's gonna be okay once we get everything glued in. So I think what I'll do is decide which should go where. I definitely want to have these lime greens go with this darker plum because I love that color combination. And maybe these greens, the more of the blue green, should be over here because it looks better there. And then I will divide some of these up. Maybe two here. I think that looks pretty good. That looks like all of these will fit right on top of this. So the next thing I'll do is just use my hot glue gun and start with the larger succulents. I'm gonna start with these two of the dark greens. and Put quite a bit of glue on the back and then you'll place that right onto the foam. And I'm, I'm arranging them so that they hang over the edge so that you can't see the foam ball inside. And when you place this on, it will help hold the ball in the center. And then I'll do this one on the opposite side, maybe a, not quite opposite, a bit at an angle. And then we'll place this pale blue-green one. So you can see here how I've made it a bit snug. Now this little one, I want to place it right between those two. And that gives me one more spot to add this little lime green succulent. So my glue hasn't cooled quite yet and I decided I want to cluster the two lime green ones in the front and then have this tall one sitting in the back. So before it's cool, I went ahead and move them around. And you'll really wanna give that just a few minutes to fully cool so that they don't come off. The arrangements are done and I've punched some hearts and see some of these scalloped circles out of my paper. And I have these sticks cut down to about four inches. So for these discs, these scalloped medallions, I want to glue two of them together and sandwich the, the stick right between. And I'm just gluing right in the center so there's a little bit of gap. And then on top of that, I'll do a contrasting heart. Thank you. 
On the other stick, I'll go ahead and sandwich the stick right between two hearts. Here are my two succulent pots and they're ready to give as gifts. You can find the links for all of the tools and materials that I've used in this video below and make for sure that when you make these succulent pots that you use hashtag MadeWithLeah so that we can share them with our social community as well.